Oh, he just went limp. <laughs> Maybe it would have been good to douse the arrow. Oh, shit. <laughs> and holy water. You miss sucker. Once, pal. <laughs> hey, idiot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yes. This is what I want in, like, my horror films. Some good kills. Oh, yes. Nice. See you never. Nice and crisp. Death by stereo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your guy, Jesse, back at it with another reaction. And this time, I'm going to be reacting to The Lost Boys 1987. And so I'm going to do a, a couple of horror films leading up to Halloween. And I think in the month of October, probably the majority of the films that I'm going to react to are going to be horror, sus suspense thrillers, um, you know, just everything from whether that's more on the supernatural side to maybe some slashers and stuff like that. And so, so yeah, you know, definitely have some in mind that I definitely want to want to do. And I've gotten some recommendations um, per some of the uh, previous horror film reactions that I've done. So I have some of those on my list. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and check out The Lost Boys 1987. By the way, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps a lot. Um, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. And with that said, let's go ahead and watch The Lost Boys 1987. Yo, the Lost Boys. I like uh, I like this score right here. A <laughs> young Kiefer Sutherland, man. That that hair. See that? Hey yo. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's not single, bro. Gotta be careful. Oh. I told you to stay off the boardwalk. Regular troublemakers, huh? Okay, boys, let's go. <laughs> so wait a second. So the Ferris wheel is just going round and round, and uh, they just decide to go on and do that and <laughs> get on the Ferris wheel and hit on girls. I guess <laughs> that's one way to do it, right? But where is this, anyways? Oh, is this security guard gonna eat shit right now? That's a cool shot, man. Oh, just panning over to the parking lot. Guard, oh. Oh, dude. Damn, Jesus. So it just took him up in the air, and I guess he was holding onto the door. The damn door came off of the car. <laughs> yeah. Quit your day job, lady. Honey, look, guys, I know Santa Carla, okay. I think you're really gonna like living in Santa Carla. capital of the world. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know how I would feel about moving to the uh, murder capital of the world. It's gotta be, uh, so this has gotta be California, right? I mean, anything with like Santa, <laughs> Santa Barbara, Santa this, Santa that, I mean, it's all California, right? And so when it, you know, when it comes to vampires, for me, it's a, uh, not the scariest, uh, I guess, creature. It's just not something that really crawls under my skin so much. I mean, I, I think it could be, it's like fun. And uh, I do like uh, some of the some of the background, some of the lore behind vampires. Nothing that I guess will keep me up at night, but I could have fun with for sure. Dude, a lot of missing posters, man. Hey, yo. Man, all these hairstyles, man. <laughs> the fashion back then, dude. If I, what the, <laughs> what was that? If I uh, lived in the 80s, I wonder what hairstyle I would have. Possibly the mullet, which would, the mullet is making, has made a big comeback the last like year or two. You know, or just a lot of that, like, you know, just something really tall, like with hairspray. <laughs> I think, you know what, by the end of the movie, I'm gonna say, you know, I'm gonna say which hairstyle I would pick if I was in the 80s or like a leading contender of what I would want. Dude, see, look at that, that hairspray, the, you know, the front part just kind of fluffed up like that. Screams 80s. 
Yo, man, this is kind of a... Ah, whoa! <laughs> She's not yelling or screaming? What? <laughs> Looks like he's dead. No, it's just a deep sleeper. <laughs> Playing dead. From what I heard, doing a damn good job, Hold on. too. Dad! Oh. Why would she not be, like, freaked out? Like, is this something she's always encountered from, like, her dad? He's just, like, eccentric or something and just plays dead <laughs> randomly? There's no TV! You know what it means when there's no TV? No MTV. MTV in the 80s and 90s must have been something completely different from the MTV that I knew. But a big legal battle wasn't going to improve anybody's situation. Anyway... I was raised better than that. Hey, ouch! My hair! <laughs> Dude, you got like no hair. Your hairline's like gone, full gone. Talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Some kind of taxidermist or something, man. We got some rules around here. Chicken shelf is mine. <laughs> Old fart. My root beers. Nobody touches the second shelf but me. <laughs> Just to fuck with them, I would like hide everything in the second shelf. Hey, Grandpa, true that uh, Santa Carla is the murder capital of the world? Well, there are some bad elements around here. A serious Grandpa? Yeah, well, fuck well, let that. Me put it this way. All the corpses buried around here was to stand up all at once. You'd have one hell of a population problem. Yeah, fuck that. Would never, ever, 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 whatever the murder population of the world is right now, I'm staying like 200 miles away from it. And stay out of here. Wait, wait, you have a TV? No. I just like to read the TV guide. <laughs> TV guide. What? You need a TV. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> so you read the titles of like what you're gonna watch? No, <laughs> it's not the freaking same. Imagine, you know, I'm reacting to films. All I do is just like read the title and read four or five sentence synopsis there. I reacted to it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> this dude got like greased up, oiled up before the show. <laughs> hey, oh, he's hitting that saxophone though, man. Target acquired. Search and destroy. Yeah, I don't think I'd go with this hairstyle. <laughs> I'm gonna scratch the one off already. A little too uh, slick back and long on the end for my taste. His is, his, I would say, is subtle. The older brother? From an 80s perspective, I guess. Yeah. I guess all these missing people are have been victims of uh, vampire vampires. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't think we have to uh, guess who <laughs> who the vampires are, right? This little boy is lost, and we were wondering if his mother might be in here. Oh, how you're so There you are. Thank you. Sure. Hey yo, <laughs> pervs. Well done. Sounds like my kind of crew. Second thought. I told you not to come in here anymore. Ooh. Remember uh, what they did to the last person that uh, kind of stood up to them? Wild kid. They're just young. We were that age too once. I would definitely have a motorcycle back then for sure. The generous nature. I like that in a person. My name's Max. I'm Lucy. That's my dog, Thorn. Hi, Thorn. Say hello, hey. Thorn. Hey, Thorn. Oh, please tell me Thorn's gonna be okay. You guys know how I feel about dogs and animals. What I need uh, is... A job? Yeah, I look that needy, huh? <laughs> yeah, you look broke. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> come on, come on, admit it, you're chasing her. I'm at the mercy of your sex plans, bud. <laughs> you have something better to do than follow me around all night. Yeah, actually I do. Yo, that jacket, bro. <laughs> you see how big that is? <laughs> what? I'd rock that. I'd rock that for sure. All right, man. So I got my jacket down. What the fuck are these dicks just staring? <laughs> they smoked a, smoked a doobie before their shift or if they're just hanging out or whatever. Just scope in your civilian wardrobe. <laughs> what? <laughs> Or a fashion victim. Oh. <laughs> Buddy, if you're looking for the diet frozen yogurt bar, it went out of business last summer. Look, you can't put the Superman number 77s with the 200s. You can't put the number 98s with the 300s. Where the hell are you from, hmm. Krypton? You tell them how to do their job. But lucky me, we moved here. <laughs> you can see that twitch? Take this. 
Mm. Like horror comics. You like this one, boy. It could save your life. Hey! Oh, hell no, dude. Grab and dash. Freeloading sons of bitches. I never in any form or fashion broke the law as a kid. Never so much as stole a single piece of gum. Alright, so she's with uh, Kiefer's character. Yo, she's staring back though. Opportunity may possibly open. Okay. What the fuck? They're like, they look like 30, 35 years old <laughs> and they're stealing comics. I thought I heard <laughs> Just in the backseat of a car outside of that boardwalk. Dude, oh! Oh shit! Oh! Shit. oh. I want to see them though. They're just <laughs> people are just getting grabbed. How do you like that, baby? Huh? More missing posters. Wait, can I drive on the way back? Yeah, oh, gotcha. look at that beauty. Ford Fairline. Uh, mid fifties, late fifties. Had a lot of warm up a little. You hear that sound? Just like a baby pussycat. <laughs> okay, let's go to town. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Be having fun or what? So we were going to town. It's as close to town as I like to get. <laughs> get the fuck, dude. This guy. Is he serious? He's serious. <laughs> He's serious, man. Oh. What a troll, dude. That grandfather. That's me in about 40 years, dude. These guys, man, they're just you know, staring daggers. Unusual about Santa Carla yet? It's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. <laughs> Are you guys sniffing old newsprint or something? You think we just work in a comic book store for our folks, huh? I thought it was a bakery. This is just our cover. <laughs> We're dedicated to a higher purpose. We're right. fighters for truth and the American way. Hell yeah. Read this. Told you, I don't like horror comics. Think of it more as a survival manual. There's a number on the back. And pray, you never need to call us. I'll pray. I never it's, need to call you. It's funny how fucking serious they are, bro. <laughs> Our number in the back, like some kind of business card. Hey yo, looking like a like a badass now. Got the leather jacket going, hair all done. Who could resist? It's a ripoff. There she is. Ooh. Told you. If you want your hair pierced, I'll do it. Hey yo. Star. Star. Exhibits. I came this close to being called Moonbeam or Moonchild. <laughs> that actually would be badass, Moonbeam. Star is great, I like Star. I'm Michael. Hey, he's got a bike too. Oh, trouble, trouble. Oh, they're surrounding him. Where are you going, Star? For a ride. This is Michael. Let's go. Star. Oh. Oh, man, come on. Is she with them or because she was just very like willing to just go with him even right now saying bluff is overlooking the point you can't beat your bike you don't have to beat me michael you just have to try and keep up mm, all right i don't know if she's with him with him because she was very willing to just still go on a ride and telling him i'm just going on a ride with him which you wouldn't really say to your boyfriend or your partner that's so cool dude riding your motorcycle like on the beach it's on the sand all right, most of their hairstyles I wouldn't go for. Leading contenders so far are Michael's hair or the dude in the comic book store with the bandana. Those are my uh, leading choices of what I would have rocked in the 80s. Dude, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the aesthetic, man. I'm feeling the vibe. The score and then the, just the bikes in nighttime, this fog coming in, I'm feeling it. trying to you know over he's trying to outdo him which you got to be careful dude shit oh oh shit just you come on just you hey let's go just you yeah not your buddies you know just me and you yeah, that's kind of funny, you know, so he doesn't know the area, those other fuckers know the area. He could have fallen off that damn cliff. I'd be pissed off wanting to fight too. Not bad, huh? 
This was the hottest resort in Santa Carla. Talk about your fixer-upper. <laughs> Shit. In 1906, when the big one hit San Francisco, ground opened up right into the crack. Mmm, so it's near San Francisco. Paco? Food. That's what I love about this place. You ask, and then you get. Appetizer. Hmm. So you don't mind if I do? Can I clock lights out? Mom! Huh? I still can't. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to admit. One of the reasons I divorced your father, never believed in the closet monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. you, Grandpa. <laughs> Roger's having to dress up your room with Sam. How do you like oh, that? Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Grandpa. Oh, Dad, really, you shouldn't have. You can put that in the closet, Grandpa. No problem. Night, Sam. Night, <laughs> Grandpa. Night, night, honey. His dog. Oh, look at him. Look at those ears. Oh, they throw that under the bed or in the closet, dude. Your history, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Be my response, man. There we go. Feeding time. Come and get it, boys. You don't like rice? Tell me, Michael. Could a billion Chinese people be wrong? <laughs> Interesting argument. How are those maggots? <laughs> maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots. How do they taste? Oh, dude, no. Oh, wait, what? Oh, bastards. Oh, I'd be throwing hands for that, man. What the fuck? What? <laughs> what? Sorry about that. They're playing fucking mind tricks on him, dude. Why don't you try some noodles? <laughs> oh, come on, man, no. I mean, they're worms. Tony! They're only noodles, Michael. Oh, hell no, dude. Yeah, that's a... Right, vampires can fuck with your head like that, right? Dude, the way he chomped down those noodles, though, he's like... <laughs> what was that? Some wine? Drink some of this, Michael. Uh... one of us. Uh... <laughs> I don't know if, uh... I would just take that drink. Like the mood just changed and this dude just got really serious and is handing me a fucking antique looking bottle. Oh, and everyone's starting to chant now. You don't have to, Michael. And she's encouraging me not to. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's blood. Yeah, sure. Oh, no. Is it though? Is it? Backing up. Oh shit. Oh dude, this here's a score, man. Oh, listen to that. Oh, just oh. Maybe it's because it played at the beginning and you know something was like floating over the water, but it gives off this like feeling of that you're kind of floating. The score is at least it's doing that to me. Like if I'm kind of mid <laughs> mid air off my feet right now. Perfect timing. What's going on? Michael wants to know what's going on. Marco, what's going on? I don't know. I think we should let Michael know what's going on. Marco. Good night, Michael. Bombs away! <laughs> yeah. up there. <laughs> Come with us, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking insane, man. Oh. Come on down! How would he not be so fucking freaked out right now, man? Why would he even, I mean, okay, look, he must be, I guess, after drinking that, I don't know, or you're already becoming a vampire, so probably added strength and stuff like that, but I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't just do this. Oh, no. Oh, dude. Oh, God. With it shaking. Why even go down there, bro? Again, okay, if he like he's already, you know, I guess a vampire based off of drinking that, he should have a lot of strength. Yeah. That looks so fucking cool though, man. How they're just disappearing into the fog. Not gonna be able to get back up, bro. It looks like. 
I'd still be shit my pants, man. <laughs> Let go, bro. Oh, that looks cool. So I assume they're just kind of floating. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Definitely not a not a dream. But how the hell did he just get back here like that? Mike, it's mom. Give me those sunglasses. Want to know? So, okay. <laughs> All right, the sun's hitting him. Max asked me to go to dinner with him after work tonight. Would you stay home with Sam? Sam is old enough to stay by himself. Hey, right that now. owner, whoever, spitting game at the. It's been a long time since somebody asked me to go to yeah. dinner. I'd like to go. Okay. Okay, mom. Yeah, dude, don't cock block your mom, man. Bye, bye. She needs some fun and entertainment too. Anything around here that might pass for, for an aftershave? How about some Windex, Grandpa? Wait, what? Yeah, yeah, let me try some of that, huh? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck, dude. Come on. Have a big day tonight, Grandpa. Hey, yo. Someone drop by some of my handiwork to the Widow Johnson. <laughs> See you two guys later. <laughs> Hey, yo, Grandpa's, you know, gonna lay down some, you know what, tonight. Get it, Grandpa. Shit. <laughs> Get the fuck, dude. Man, if that's not me in 40 years, something went wrong. No, all you do is give attitude lately. Oh, the dog. We got the dog at the store and we got this dog. I don't want anything to happen to him. Jesus, man. But why are they doing this? Yo. Yo, what? Bikes aren't that fast. Why are they doing that though? Like tormenting him. Mike, go take your bath. If he's, you know, one of them. But yeah, that was more like a sadistic kind of tormenting kind of act, you know, just showing up there and Doing that and his brother's there. In the end, they are vampires, right? So uh, they could fucking care less. <laughs> oh, dude, I love doing that as a kid. Just like, I'd grab like fucking bubbles and put that shit on top. Yo. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed my baths, I guess, but it didn't have necessarily music rocking. <laughs> hey, he's hitting it. Oh, the dog, he senses it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, look at him. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, okay, please tell me the dog's okay. Come on. Come on. Mike? Michael, you there? Barged in there, looked like he wanted to attack him. The dog, you know, protecting him, doing what he needed to do. Oh. What happened? Nanook. What about Nanook? What'd you do to my dog, you ass? Yeah, where is he? Nothing, I didn't hurt him. This is my blood. There Where'd you are, you boy. Mike? Okay. Mike? What would you do to him? He was protecting you. Look at your reflection in the mirror. Your creature of the night, Michael. Just like out of a comic book. Dude. You're a vampire. My own brother, a goddamn shit sucking vampire. Will you wait till mom finds out? <laughs> Just leave my hand and let me talk. Shit sucking vampire. <laughs> okay, so, but the brother's getting like, um, urges, right? But if he really wanted to hurt his brother right now, he'd, he'd do it right now. He'd break down the door and just get to him. So, beginning stages of uh, becoming a vampire. You did the right thing by calling us. <laughs> your brother sleep These a lot. two, bro. Yeah, all day. Uh, he wears sunglasses in the house. Bad breath. Yeah, his fingernails are all a bit longer. Uh, he always had bad breath, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> right, it's settled. He's a vampire. Sharp stick, drive it right through his heart. I can't do that. He's my brother. <laughs> what if, what if they, what if you guys were wrong? You better get yourself a golly t-shirt, buddy, or it's your funeral. These dudes, man. I mean, they're right, but <laughs> how would they know if they're 100% right? Just take a stake and, like, stab them with it. Yo. <laughs> I'd suck to wake up like that, just making out with a fucking wall or ceiling. Yo. 
early stages and I guess just uh, gaining some powers. I'm gonna have to learn to control it though. Sam, is everything all right? I think we have to have a real long talk about something. <laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. Bro, <laughs> this fucking legs just appear. I'm sorry, it's about Michael. Don't listen to him, mommy. He doesn't know what he's saying. Shut up, Sam. Mom, help! He's coming to get me. Oh, Sam! He's gonna kill me. I'm coming. Tell me, mommy. Tell me, mommy. Oh, she's gonna leave the dude. Stand him up. <laughs> it looks like she's running away from him. Stay back! Stay back! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so where are you? The blind nun! Help me, help me! Dude, I'd be freaked out, right? If, uh, let's say I was Sam, Sammy, and, uh, my brother, my older brother, was just kind of floating like that, and, you know, just... I would take it as, you know, if he wanted to kill me or attack me, he could do it. So, what, let's figure this out. I gotta sit together, bro. What about mom? Just don't, don't tell her anything. I'm gonna work this out, you trust me, okay? Hey, yo. <laughs> that bad breath, bro. <laughs> hey, mom got there quick. Oh, you had me scared to death. Okay, mom, I was reading oh. a horror comic, and I guess I just got a little carried away, that's all. <laughs> you got carried away by a comic book? What is this mess? I don't believe you people, the refrigerator door's wide open. You know, it's not fair, I would like to have a personal life. Oh, you went to Yo, that looks like that kid. He comes like grandpa. Hey man, he had a looks like he had a good time. Go grandpa. Mom? Uh -huh. Can I sleep in here with you tonight? It was a real scary comic, that's all. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. <laughs> that robe, dude. You've been eating pizza? No. Why? Ooh, you smell like garlic. <laughs> Play it safe, right? Yeah, poor guy got stood up. Man, it looks like he living good. He got a whole look at that. Yeah, anytime you got an entrance like that to your house, it must be pretty nice. I like the security guard, man. Who's there? Hello, Thorn. Oh, Sent you dog. Thorn, Shit. What the? F okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, that'd be creepy, man. You come home and then that hits you. <laughs> Hell no. Oh no, dude. Oh, and all the. How are they generating like that wind coming towards like the dude? Look at her, looking like an angel. A devilish, vampiristic evil angel. I'm over here, Michael. What's happening to me, Star? What's happening to me, Star? How does she look pristine living in this dump? What's happening? Well, uh, all right. Because <laughs> that's one way to get your mind off things. Dude, there's... Yo. Yo, I hope they went to another area because that kid was that kid was uh, somewhere around there. All right, Michael, like you, uh, you're trying to figure this out. You're letting your dick do your thinking for you, dude. Oh, again, again, again. That's oh, that's perfect imagery while this uh, score is playing. That that's how it feels. There's something about the score. It feels like you're floating. Perfect imagery for it. Oh, is that like like them them coming back? Yup, yup, yup. Hey, looks like I wasn't the only one got lucky last night. <laughs> I'd love to have a grandpa like this. I'd love to hang out with him just so I could laugh my ass off like nonstop. What's the wine for? My apology to Max for running out on him last night. Oh no! All right, was this dude gonna be torn to shreds though? Honey, I better bring this up to the house or somebody's just gonna take it. Yeah, they never showed what happened to this guy. Hi, Thorn! Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, no, no. Oh, Mom, you better hop over that fucking door. Oh, oh. Yep, get over. Shit. Damn! Oh, damn! Dude! 
to my mom like the hounds of hell and vampires everywhere. Santa Carla's become a haven for the undead. Kill your brother. You'll feel better. <laughs> Come on, man. I think I'd like to find maybe another solution before doing that. Kill the head vampire. All half vampires will return to normal. Mm. My brother's a vampire, believe me. He's only half. Brother know who that vampire is? No, I don't think so. Then you'll have to kill him. If you don't, then we will. All right, bro. <laughs> I started when my mom went to work at Max's video. They're so confident. Max never comes in till after it's dark. The dog who chased my mom this morning was his. Mm. Vampires require a daytime protector. Watch over them as they sleep. Fierce dogs. The hounds of hell are often employed for this purpose. Well, what happens if my mom is dating the head vampire? You guys can nail him and save Santa Carla. We'll check out Max. The other uh, vampires were tormenting him again. Where the hell is he? Was he torn to shreds? And if not... Why wouldn't they do it? But why why torment the dude? Eight o'clock. Max, we gotta have company again. Dad, you haven't had company in this house since mom died eight years ago. Now we're gonna have company again. Michael, <laughs> Max is coming to dinner. I can't, I have plans. Hey, you must be Michael, right? Nice, so he is torn to shreds. And you must be Max. Are you? Well, you're the man of the house. I'm not coming in until you invite me. You're invited. Thanks very much. Whoa, oh, wait, wait. Isn't there a thing with vampires that you... Come in. Um, if you don't invite them, they can't come in. Hmm. And the grandpa was looking at him all side-eyed, like, doesn't like him or is scared of him or something. Hey, yo. <laughs> These are my dinner guests. Edgar and Alan. Oh, Robert. these fucking two stooges. Oh, there's plenty for everybody. This is my son, Sam, and uh, Edgar and Alan Frog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Frog. Boy, somebody around here has bad breath. Get the fuck dude. <laughs> no, no. Would you quit breathing on me? No, no, get upstairs. Go on. Yeah, I love my babies, but they have some bad breath, too. You That's funny. They all fucking looked at him. Yeah, Sam, thank you very much. Sam Ray, the cheese himself. Oh. My son. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> it's not cheese, it's, it's garlic. But you hate garlic. No, I like garlic. <laughs> <laughs> maybe garlic maybe doesn't work in this universe? Here, quick, drink some water. <laughs> Wait, what? Water? What's the matter with you? Does it burn? <laughs> it's freezing. Is it like holy water or something? What? what be break. <laughs> he's not glowing. I know. He's like... <laughs> 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 Damn, what has gotten into you? <laughs> Just put a mirror in front of his face, bro. I know what you're thinking, Sam, but you're wrong. I'm not trying to replace your father or steal your mother away from him. We'd just like to be your friend, that's all. Good night, Lucy. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know what got into him. He's not like that. I tell you, kids Sam's age need discipline. Let's try it once more. Bye, house. Tomorrow night, I'm cooking. Okay. Not with your fucking dog around, dude. Now, Grandpa's still still eyeing him, man. Alright, so... Garlic. No effect. Water. Reflection. Where is she? <laughs> Where's Star? David. Michael, you ever want to see Star again? You better come with us now. Wait. No, I shouldn't. I just find her on my own. Just, you know, climb up on a tree immediately. <laughs> All right, well, Star is in there. I think our fellow vampires are uh, hunting. <laughs> Initiation's over, Michael. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Those eyes, man. Uh, uh. Oh, dude. <laughs> he, he looks the worst. <laughs> His eyes, dude, they're like bulging out. Kind of with a little spine chilling. Oh, he just broke his neck, dude. Oh, do you see that? Oh, he wants to. Oh, dude. Ooh. He doesn't want to, man. He's fighting it. Uh. So, 
Now you know what we are, now you know what you are. You'll never grow old, Michael, and you'll never die. But you must feed. Mm. <laughs> um, is he eventually gonna gonna cave in? But he's fighting him, man. He doesn't wanna. He doesn't wanna do it. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa. Give me like a poster of like a swimsuit model or something, Grandpa. Not these damn things. <laughs> oh, look how many are in there. <laughs> oh shit. I know who I am now, Sam. I can help you. Just tell me who the head vampire is. Just work with me, and I can help you. You'll be okay. There she is. I have to talk to you. Can I come up? No. Lock your door. She's one of them. <laughs> and don't tell me it doesn't make her a bad person, Mike. <laughs> try to warn me. That wasn't wine they gave me to drink. I mean, she didn't really try very hard to warn him. You drank honestly. someone's blood? Are you crazy? <laughs> I'm just like David now, Star. No, you're not. You're not one of them. Until you make your first kill. Mm. Why didn't you kill me last night? You're supposed to be my first. But I couldn't, Mike. Then again, she could have warned him more. She could have told him straight up, we're fucking vampires. Get the fuck away from us. I wanted to tell you that's not too late for you. Why did you come here tonight, Star? I was hoping you'd have Vlad in me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, laugh in her face, bro. <laughs> Star! Don't kill anybody until we get back to you! <laughs> oh, you did just laugh in her face, dude. I mean, what'd you actions. expect? Alright, man. <laughs> These guys, they got their gear. Steaks, it looks like. <laughs> Where's your ass brought to? Who? Nightcrawler, the bloodsucker. Mike! They're here! Get up, your car! Hey, Grandpa, you, you don't use a fucking car. So, yeah, go for it. Oh, nice. It's a convertible, too. How much you going down there? Well, I'm going. Say, these guys are brutal killers. So are the Frog Brothers. Check me. Who would you rather go down there with you? Them or me? Even though you're a vampire, you're still my brother. Oh. <laughs> Listen! Just so you know, you try to stop us, then I'll stake you without even thinking twice about it. Chill out, <laughs> Ew, I don't believe these dudes have done shit yet. <laughs> I have to see it to believe it. This is probably their first, like, actual, like, you know, journey or something. Here's one for the stake, man. <laughs> you stay away from her! Sorry. The rest of them have got to be around here someplace. I'm taking you out of here. No, take Laddie first, please. Oh. I feel a trap. I think there's something up here. That's kind of sad, though. I mean, they're they don't want to they don't want to hurt anybody. Yet they're there, you know, and their families are probably looking for them. The little kid, and then her, she, you know, on, definitely Sam, got loved go. ones that worried about her. Don't know where she's at. Guys, we're on the right trail. Guys and Neil Day go together like bullets and guns. <laughs> All right, hey, let's go. <laughs> smells like shit in here. No. Vampires, my friend. Okay, I guess because they're further along, even though they haven't killed, they're more susceptible or just weak when the sun is out. They must have been in the coffins around here someplace. Oh. Jesus! Ah! <laughs> ah! That's what this cave is. It's one giant coffin. Yeah, they're fucking hanging like damn bats, dude. Right now, they're at the most vulnerable. Remember, you just have to kill a leader, huh? We don't know which one the leader is. Oh shit, I Still guess you... Little... They don't wake up unless it's night? Like, they're dead asleep. Good night, blood sucker. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! That's like brown coming out, dude. Ah! Oh. They... Couldn't they have done, like, multiple at once? Not just one? Yeah, that woke him up. Oh, dude. Since the sunlight is a... Uh... Oh, shit. Come on, pull him, pull him out. <laughs> pull him out, there you go. There we go. Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, a sadistic bastard, man. I'm from pain to a freaking tear and then laughing. We blew it, man. We lost it. Shut up. We unraveled in the face of the enemy. All right, so <clears throat> why didn't they, Burn rubber. you know, do two at once or something? Like, oh, dude. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, why didn't they do two at once or something? Did they expect to do one and only that one would kind of burst, the others would still stay asleep? Cool in the nook. Take him outside, Michael. You know the rule about filling up the car with gas? No, Grandpa. <laughs> now you do. <laughs> All right, shows up with a girl. These dudes are just there, and like it's the gas that he brings up, bro. I love this grandpa. Time to activate Plan B. Okay, what's Plan B? We only have two and a half hours to come up with one. Why? What's the two and a half hours? The sun will go down. Oh man, all hell's gonna break loose when the sun goes down. Why didn't they do this earlier? Mom, listen, I gotta tell you something. It's real important. Shh. Santa Carla's calling with vampires. Mom, there's evidence on my sweater. Oh, Mom, you gotta. <laughs> Could be just mud. Mom, you gotta tell someone. Yeah, Mom. No, not in other words. I'm gonna see Max tonight and you're trying to ruin it for me. No, no, I'm not. There's nothing wrong with Max. I'm not talking about Max, right? The hell with Max. Oh. I'll deal with you later, young man. Mom, no. Can't blame the mom, I mean. Guys, we're on our own. She's in the completely in the dark and all of this sounds like complete bullshit. You know, as she's hearing it hearing it. I like this little score. It's like uh it's like their little theme. The uh the Frog Brothers. What? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> During a, a baptism, they're just... <laughs> nice, bro. Damn, that's a shitload of garlic. <laughs> Alright. Oh, shit. Garlic and holy water? Okay, but does that work? <laughs> that little water again. All right, bro. <laughs> A little squirts. Oh. Oh, dude. <laughs> Man, they're gonna be coming out with a vengeance, too. Ah! Shit. Oh, that's so cool, man. I like that. That's so awesome. They're going, going to the house. Oh, hey, yo. I'd be like, hey, yo, your Go dog on. tried to kill me the other day. <laughs> What's the matter? Lucy? Just old memories coming back. I think Sam, he came into the store and it's just a kid's imagination, I'm sure, but it's so sincere. It's insane. Oh, look at him. Oh, get him inside. Get him inside. When a vampire buys it, it's never a pretty sight. Some yell and scream, some explode, some implode. Get him inside. No, 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 no. No, no. Come on, boy, get get to the front door. Manuk, we'll go out there, stop it. Sam! <sighs> yes, get him, get him, come on. No, no, come on. Come on, boy. Oh, no, because he's leashed up there. Come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, go, go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, there's something, ooh, something eerie about them not showing them. All you see is just, you know, from their point of view. Oh, all right, here we go. Shit. Right. This motherfucker, come on, bro. Dude. Hey! You're mine! <laughs> you killed Marco! Yeah, you're next! He's just easily, you know, <laughs> disarm them. Garlic don't work, boys! Try holding one mm. death breath! Oh, alright, so. <laughs> so, holy water, I guess, works. There we go, Nanook! Oh, dude. Shit. Oh. Ah, dude. Oh, <laughs> just die already. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's gonna be just like sludge. Oh, dude. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, I'd be so pissed off if, like, <laughs> if I was a mom and I came home to this fucking shit. Dude, the cost is gonna take to <laughs> remodel all that. Fix it and then remodel it. Oh, 
fucking jump scare, bro. Jump scare's coming. Ooh, I knew it, I fucking knew it. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, it still got me though. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking gun, dude. I would have had like one of those super soakers, man. Throw like half a gallon per second. Oh, <laughs> he just went limp. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe it would have been good to douse the arrow. Oh, shit. <laughs> In holy water. You miss sucker. Once, pal. Hey, idiot. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's awesome. Yes. This is what I want in like my horror films. Some good kills. Oh, yes. Nice. See you never. Nice and crisp. Death by stereo. <laughs> yes. Yes. And the one liner, bro. <laughs> nice. Death by stereo. Oh my god. All I could think of is like how much that's gonna cost. There he is, bastard. Shit. Dude. I nailed one of them downstairs with a bow and arrow. Alright, Sam. Look out the little. Look. Oh no. The meanest. The baddest. Alright, bro. Y'all got lucky and the nook saved y'all's ass. <laughs> this little bastard is ugly as hell with all that makeup, man. Oh, yeah, no. Little vicious little bastard is what he is. Alright, is he gonna come pop up and just hit him here and there? You afraid to face me, David? Yeah, that's what I'd say. Tried to make you immortal. It tried to make me a killer! Oh, shit. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Oh, dude. All right. All right. All this may come in handy from the grandpa as taxidermy ass. Oh, dude. No, 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 no. Stay there. You go. There you go. Stop fighting me, Michael. Don't want to kill you. Join us. Never. <laughs> There's no us anymore, bro. <laughs> I think it's just you. Too late. My blood is in your veins. So is mine. Oh, shit. Damn. There we go. See you never, David. Yo, he went, <laughs> he died all like, uh, almost peaceful, I would say, compared to the other bastards. Mike! Don't let them see me like this. Wait, okay. Mike, we're drunk. I said get away! Yeah, wouldn't if he, uh, have turned back? You destroyed the head vampire. Nothing's changed. And there's still one more. Oh, but, wait a second, but, no, no, cause they... Come on, go. The grandpa can't be it. But then they tested the other bastard. Yeah, and the grandpa's been out in daylight. It's got, I mean, it's gotta be, but uh, somehow the other shit didn't affect them. I'm sorry, Lucy. It's all my fault. David and my boys misbehaved. Yup, yup. Max, what are you talking about? I knew it. You're the head vampire. Don't start this again. You're the secret that David was protecting. But you passed the test. Don't yeah, explain ever this. Fight a vampire into your house. It <sighs> renders you powerless. Fuck you. you know of course. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Has everyone gone crazy here? It was you I was after all along, Lucy. It was all going to be so perfect, Lucy. Just like one big happy family. Your boys and my boys. Well, your boys are dead, bro. <laughs> I still want you, Lucy. Oh, 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 oh dude. Oh, Jesus. I changed my mind about that. I didn't invite you this time, Max. That's true. I guess he can still come in, though. But his powers... Alright, let's see. Dude. This fucker's strong, it looks like. 
Oh, he's ugly as fuck, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> So much better if you don't fight. Don't. Oh man, he's creepy actually. Mom, don't do it. Mom, no. Mom, no. Mom. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, dude. Oh. Nice! Grandpa came through! Boy, how would he know where he was standing though? He just decided to crash in there. He could have like, killed his own like, family. But well, Grandpa knew then. Remember he, how he was looking at him. And he came in guns blazing. Star, star! Lenny! <laughs> oh, Nanook. <laughs> How much you think we should charge him for this? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hell no, I charge you. You destroyed Dad. half my house. Dad? Alright. One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh shit, their faces, dude. So, <laughs> as in, you were aware of this the whole freaking time? Well, he's been there long enough, right? How long has this been going on? That was fun as fuck, man. <laughs> I like that. That was a good damn time. Okay, so this film gave us many different elements. In a good way. Comedy. Horror. Um, fun characters. Uh, you know, just witty banter, one-liners, good kills, man. Which, if I watch, um, you know, a, a horror film, uh, even if it's, you know, not your conventional kind of horror, where this wasn't like drop dead scary as hell, but I like to see good kills, you know, in, in, in these kinds of films. And it didn't take itself too seriously, and I like that. I like that a lot. As far as the characters, oh, and I gotta make my decision on <laughs> on which uh, hairdo I would go with if I lived in the 80s. <sighs> I'm gonna go with, uh, I, I would have rocked for a while, maybe a couple of years. The one that, uh, Edgar Allen, okay, one of the Frog Brothers, uh, the one that had the bandana on. I would have rocked that hairdo for a couple years, and I would have uh, worn that big ass jacket that Sam, Sammy had uh, when he first went into that comic book store. That's that's what I would have rocked for, for, for a while, maybe a year or two. And then who knows, maybe my hairstyle would change. But uh, yeah, so as far as, uh, as far as characters, brothers and the moms, leaving Arizona, there was some kind of a split or something among the parents and so they're going to live with the grandpa in the murder freaking capital of the world. I love the setting. I love that moment that we got whenever we had like a score going on and we got to see a lot of the a lot of what's going on in this uh Santa Carla. So a lot of the uh a lot of the population there um, just what people are doing, the boardwalk, all those different crazy ass hairstyles, wardrobe, uh, you know, just, I mean, it's 80s, right? I always loved every time that we saw that camera floating over water or kind of making its way towards the boardwalk or that very first kill with the security guard and how it just kind of slowly crept up on him. It, it worked for me that they wouldn't show uh, the vampires there at the onset. All you saw was the victims running and then suddenly getting taken up. To me, that that worked. Uh, and the grandpa just just himself, dude. Just a awesome, witty, you know, ridiculous, but at the same time, awesome character. And who knows, man, 30, 40 years from now, we'll see how close I am to that fucking grandpa character. But uh, I liked him. So he's been there a long time. You know, he's in the know of what is going on. And I mean, especially what we saw from the end there. I wonder if he's you know, at some point in time taking out vampires as well. Just like these uh, Frog Brothers. Which, getting to the freaking Frog Brothers, man. <laughs> Good casting on that end because they were so ridiculous. They were, at the same time, so confident it was almost obnoxious. <laughs> it was almost obnoxious, man. Like, they knew it all, right? And had all the answers for everything. Yet when shit goes down, <laughs> they're all like fumbling everything. They're getting easily disar disarmed. So I wonder how long they've been at this. I was questioning it really hard. Like, okay, how, 
have they even ever killed a, man, a vampire before? But I mean, you know, they went and just did it. So it's like, okay, they've, it's like they've done this in the past. And so who was that, right? And was there another group? And kind of just interested on a potential, you know, backstory there, which I'll have to see if there's some, uh, there's some sequels to this. Okay, and our vampires. So it, it, it also worked for me. You know, their get up, their hairstyle, just them together as a group walking into a room. It looked like they were always scoping something out, you know, trying to find a, a victim or their next victim. Just something off about them, but I liked it. it. It worked, dude. That scene when they were at that campfire, that was that was pretty insane, dude. They just took out like a whole group of ten to fifteen people, and that's when you first see them transform. And again, I'm not uh, I'm not particularly afraid of vampires. The makeup work here was really great, though. The one guy with and like the eyes were like bulging out. Yeah, I thought that was a little freaky. And Michael was just fighting it, man. He, you know, they were just tempting him, right? They were trying to get him to, to officially make his first kill and become one of them. That was a crazy scene. Just all of the quick, you know, just snaps to the, the different individuals they're taking out. One with their neck being, you know, broken. Someone else, their forehead or something taken off. I mean, it was all those different little shots of all of them being taken out second by second by second. And with Max, it, it was almost like too easy. They really try to throw that curveball at you. You know, all those tests with the garlic, with the holy water. Uh, with the reflection and being able to see it. But as he said, right, you invite a vampire in, and all of those different tricks are useless. That's when I first, you know, was like, oh, he, he asked to be invited in. But yeah, I wasn't aware of like, if you invite him in, then all of that other stuff is worthless. And then, and then later on, they show the mom going to the house and the dog freaking attacks her. And then, you know, you got the hounds of hell, I guess, lore right there. And so I was thinking, okay, how the hell, there's something up with this guy. If he's not a vampire, you know, maybe he's controlling them in some other way, some other aspect, but no, I ended up being being the, uh, the head vampire. It was easy to see that twist, but they really, I think, did well with throwing that curveball at me whenever, yeah, those tests weren't working on him. Oh man, when he turned, he was ugly as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the other ones, they weren't particularly, didn't look good in their makeup, but this dude just looked, he looked creepy, yeah, yeah. I think out of all of the, the different vampire transformations, his was the scariest and creepiest look. Oh, the score here, it was awesome. That one main theme, dude. It just went with the film perfectly. And then they had that one theme for the <laughs> for the Frog Brothers as well. A great, great score, really good soundtrack for the film, uh, which is something that I, you know, I particularly like a lot. Um, I'm a big, big soundtrack person. Again, you know, just great film, really, really fun. Uh, really great characters. I'm gonna check out if there's any sequels to it. I'm gonna be watching more horror films leading up to Halloween and uh, in the month of October the bulk majority of those films that I watch will be uh, horror uh, horror films range, ranging from slashers to ghosts to maybe demonic possession so definitely something that i'm going to watch a lot of during uh, during october please consider subscribing to the channel it, it really really helps a lot thank you all so much for the support for you know just whether that's commenting on uh, the film itself and giving me some some background um, giving me some fun facts and also, you know, just many of you uh, appreciating what I what I try to do, whether that's pointing something out that I notice, whether that's some of the um, acting nuances that I notice or other aspects of it, like lighting or some of the cinematography. Well, I really, really always appreciate that stuff. Please consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next reaction.